we got a new show out. It's called Searching for Sarah, available for free on Spotify. And in this video, I want to show you how I produced the trailer for the series. Hi, it's Mike from Casefile. Casefile presents on this channel. I'm releasing videos on podcasting. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button. All right, in this video, I want to show you how I approach making trailers for podcasts. So that could be helpful for you if you ever find yourself in this situation. So we'll look at the dialogue, the clips that we use, then how I wrote the music and then how I've done the mix. So let's jump to the first Pro session. So that's the uh, Pro session for the clips. And we had several versions of the trailer. The first one was the longest one. That was during the editing and the writing of the series, as well as uh, working on it, Vic Tritis, as well as our host, selected from case files, selected the clips that they thought would be su uh, suitable for the trailer. Now, at the end, we put all of them together, and that, <laughs> and that came up to like nearly seven minutes, as you can see there. Now, that's obviously too long for a trailer. And especially with Spotify, they want a two-minute trailer. So we had to cut it down. And we've done several versions of it. There was one version there and one version there. So the difference between two of these versions was... With one of the version, we used the case file host to narrate the trailer a little bit, like sort of the voice of God uh, in cinema, plus clips from Vicky. So it gives you the uh, narrative to the trailer. Things like... Searching for Sarah McDermott, the new case file presents podcast series by Vicky... A couple of suspects emerged ahead of the rest... Now, we felt that this in this version of the trailer, the, there was too much of that narrative, not enough clips. As you can see, there's only like four clips there. So in the second version of trailer, what I then done is I got rid of all of that and left only clips. I've been writing about real police cases. So that's Vicky. But then it's just clip after one after another. Of her car. But I think when we were first there and we saw the play. And he said, well, when I... You. Some people are cool, cold. Now, we like this version, but then uh, some of us also said, well, now it's a bit of a, a bit chaotic. People won't know what's going on. Like, it's just random clips playing one after another. So what I've done, um, you cannot please everyone, but, you know, you can try. For the final version of the trailer, I combined the two. So I took few elements of the initial narrative that we've created, but also a lot of the clips that we had. So we had things like... A couple of suspects emerged ahead of the rest. And he said, well, when I do get And then three clips. Then a little bit, and then, you know, two or three clips, um, as well as a little bit of Vicky, thus creating the trailer, which was primarily made out of clips from various people that appear in the series, but um, ha it, the, it has that kind of narrative. So our case file host is telling you sort of what's happening. Okay, let's now jump to the music bit of the trailer. So we are now in my Pro Tools session for the music for the trailer. It's a bit chaotic because I made all the MIDI tracks active and the audio tracks are active as well. But uh, usually what I, what I do for the trailers is to take the theme music and turn it into the music for the trailer. But with this one, because uh, the theme music for the series is like 30 seconds, it's self-contained, and it didn't really work with the narrative of, of the trailer, so I wrote uh, music specifically for the trailer. And just to show you what I used is uh, usually complete control so i use british drama toolkit and that was violas and um bass clarinet as well that's the texture that comes in at the beginning plus violin solo um sorry that's not it uh, where's the violin there it is 
violin solo from again a native instrument with reverb uh, replica is that reverb i think that's reverb maybe delay um <laughs> anyway to give it sort of this uh, ethereal vibe and then as stuff uh, happens and the narrative gets faster more dramatic then we got uh, things like um, thrills come in that's from Albion one from Spitfire low strings again the spiccato uh, rhythmic ones I'll play it two in a second and then we had drums that's cymbals I had bass uh that's from omnisphere and um and i think that's it actually i think i oh i had action strikes as well and uh, the brass at the end okay so Okay, so it plays. So the ethereal, um, and I also had sort of guitar, and I think there were mallets from Omnisphere, if I'm not mistaken, drum cymbals, um, Thrills. Okay, uh, then we had quick uh, strings that all been one, but I also combined it with cellos. But that's sort of that, that's really quite in a mix. Um, bit of modern bass to it okay so that's uh, how I done it all right so we are in the mix uh, template the mix session of the trailer so I had clips there I had the audio so I've committed the MIDI to audio with Neutron to mix and uh, run the automation we can hide that and if I play you maybe just the music actually hopefully you can hear it so that was the start um, I put the volume up a little bit so we can actually hear it it is very soft then when the narrative changes we start getting thrills and bit of rhythmic section then i want to blend that beginning with the rhythmic and we get the walking bass. And then when uh, sort of the, at the end, the crescendo happens, we get the fast uh, ostinati. And a bit of brass. All right, so let me play you the actual trailer actually. So I'm gonna play you the full trailer now. I guess it's best to listen on headphones because that's how I mix it for. 
You might not hear all the details if you're listening through your phone or maybe laptop speakers. Um, so if you want to listen to the full trailer now, it's only two minutes. I've been writing about real police cases for nearly three decades now, and there are few more tragic than the case of Sarah McDermott. With Sarah's disappearance, there's an element of patience, of being collected. She was always a very good daughter. If she was out somewhere and going to be late, she would ring and let us know. She was seen by several witnesses walking toward the car park, and then Sarah McDermott was gone. When she's come down the bottom of the stairs and walked towards the car park, she's virtually walked into the darkness. When Sarah's family reported her missing, police mounted an extensive search. I could see blood on the bitumen underneath the car that was parked at the driver's side of her car. The, the blood on the ground, it sort of indicated to everybody that there'd been foul play. A couple of suspects emerged ahead of the rest. And he said, well, when I do get out, you'll be one of the first people I look for. And I said, why is that? And he said, because I just like to kill you. She said, you know that murder that was up at the Cannonook station? I was there with two other blokes, and I'm worried because I don't know how staunch they are. Who knows what he did? If he killed Sarah and disposed of her body, maybe he thinks I can get away with this. They don't know where she is. They don't know who did it. Just how many other women were followed from the Cannonook railway station, we'll never know. So I was walking along there, and I could hear footsteps behind me, and they were getting closer. And they yelled out to me, don't take the shortcut, take the bridge. I just think those men at Vodotto saved my life. The evidence is out there. So pulled out a couple of the cards and looked at the name and it said Sarah McDermott. Searching for Sarah McDermott. Available November 15 for free only on Spotify. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. So that was it. A simple trailer, simple motive for the music, you know, a bit of ostinati, a bit of melody on top with like modern walking bass. I, um, I love blending all these elements, so modern with sort of orchestral, old and new. And I think it works well, obviously mixed for headphones listening. So again, if you're listening in the car or um, on laptop speakers, you may not be able to listen to all the details. So if you really want to get into it, then I urge you to uh, check it out on headphones. And of course, check out the show. It's called Searching for Sarah, av available on Spotify for free. I've done the post-production and the music for the show. I, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Mike. If you enjoy this kind of videos, check the rest of my channel. For now, you can share, you can like, or subscribe. I'll see you later.